Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through day 4 problem from July Lead Coding Challenge, ugly number 2. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Write a program to find the nth ugly number. Ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include 2, 3 and 5. In the given example, we need to find the 10th ugly number, which comes out to be 12. We are given notes that 1 is typically treated as an ugly number and n does not exceed 1690. The naive approach will be to loop on all the numbers till we find the nth ugly number. If the number is ugly, we decrement the value of n and when n becomes 0, we return the value. Let's see how we can do it through dynamic programming, wherein we will just focus on calculating the ugly numbers. We will initialize a result array of size n and three pointers one for each factor to calculate the next ugly number. We will use the previous ugly number to calculate the next one. As given in question, one is an ugly number, so we place it in the array at 0th index. Also, all pointers will point at 0th index. We will now loop from 1 to n on the array. We will calculate the next ugly number by multiplying the number at the pointer respective to the factor. So, the next ugly number for factor 2 will be the value at pointer p2 multiplied by 2 and same with 3 and 5. Now, as we have calculated the three ugly numbers, we will take minimum of the three. This minimum is nothing but the next ugly number. So, we put it at index i in the result. Now, as we have calculated ugly number of the current pointer for 2, we have to increment it so that the next time it gives us the next ugly number for 2. So, we increment the pointer for 2. We will check the same for 3 and 5 as well. But as both values are not used till now, we won't change the pointer for them. This completes our first loop and hence the i gets incremented. We again find the next ugly number and this time the minimum is 3. So, we add 3 into result and increment the pointer for 3. Now, index is incremented again. The minimum is 4, so we add 4 in the result and increment p2. For index 4, we will do the same. Now, we have a case where both result of 2 and 3 are equal to minimum. In this case, we increment both pointers. Moving on, we continue applying the same logic. We have reached the end of the array and so we return the last value, which in this case is 12. Here is the algorithm we followed. Let's go through it once more. We will initialize an array result of size n. Then we update 0th index with 1. We will also initialize three pointers for all three factors and initialize them to 0. Now we will loop from 1 to n. We will first find the minimum of the three ugly numbers formed by 2, 3 and 5. We put the value into the result array. Whichever value matches the minimum needs its pointer to be updated so that it gives next ugly number in next iteration. At the end, we return the last index value. The time complexity is O of 1 because we know that the value cannot be greater than 1690. So we will calculate all the ugly numbers till that and just return the value at that index. Space complexity is O of 1 because we have the constant array of size 1690. Here is the actual code snippet from the method. Also check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.